It began its life at Bell Labs in the early 1970s, won the endorsement of AT&T, and was adopted by universities around the country who appreciated its portability and its multitasking talents. It is Unix, an operating system with so many variants you need a family tree to trace its origins. One of the earliest centers of Unix development is the University of California at Berkeley, responsible for one of the main branches of Unix called BSD for Berkeley Software Distribution. Well, Berkeley got a fairly early version of Unix from Bell Labs and started writing additional programs for it, started adding things. Uh, when a larger version of mini computers came out, uh, Berkeley added a number of new features to the system that took advantage of the new computer. And we did software the way uh, people wanted the software here. Uh, as a result, there were a no number of other universities and research labs that were interested in the same thing. The Unix operating system has special appeal to programmers because of its many programming tools. Unix is also multitasking, so several applications can be running simultaneously. It is particularly suited to multi-user environments, and it offers structured programming, a way to divide problems into smaller parcels. On the other hand, the consequence of such diverse streams of development has been a lack of standards. To combine the best elements of those diverse strands is the latest challenge facing Unix. Uh, in general, the standards have been picking and choosing among the different features of different versions. And as a result, the standard versions will be not like any existing version. They'll be someplace in the middle. For example, a number of programs have options. And uh, the standards will specify a smaller number of options. Then those will all be the same on, on every version.